I love the idea of normalizing um, the topic of abortion and reproductive rights. I had to really stay true to the situation. This isn't a movie about hand wringing what decision to make. She knows what she wants, and that's very much how I felt um, about my abortion. You always use a condom, so you're fine. Hey, dude. <laughs> But I want to talk about how it's obviously a really lighthearted movie with comedy and feel good moments, but at the core of it, there's really serious subject matter. So I want to know how important was it to you to get that story right? Because it is lighthearted in a way, but like for me, I was, I couldn't ever take Veronica and her situation lightheartedly. You know? So it was hard and a challenge to be in these scenes where everything's going wrong and things are comedic and over the top. And there's this teen comedy tone over the whole thing, this like quirky tone, but like I had to really stay true to the situation. Mm -hmm. I think um, there's there's a balance where things can get either a little too goofy or a little too uh, uh, over dramatic about what's actually happening and not true to the characters. I love the idea of normalizing um, the topic of abortion and reproductive rights and also telling a different perspective on it and how uh, people shouldn't don't have to feel a certain way after getting an abortion. Um, they, there's a whole range and spectrum of emotions that happen. The plot of the movie sort of inherently has the message that I think is important, which is that it should not be this hard to access abortion. And so the fact that innate to the plot is this crazy journey they have to take, and that's where so much of the comedy comes from, is how hard the journey is, sort of uh, was really helpful in telling this story. I don't think that this is what you really want. It's my life, it's my choice. I took a tour of the Los Angeles Planned Parenthood. Um, I've had an abortion, but I had the pill abortion and I was unfamiliar with the, um, the process for the surgical abortion. So I got to go in and see step-by-step step how, you know, what all the steps were. And I learned so much that as I was there, I was inspired to sort of reimagine that sequence and, and show people demystify the process. I just want to say thank you for for sharing something that's so personal and so, you know, your story and your story alone. Um did did making this movie um did it did it trigger anything? Was it difficult in that respect because you could relate? No. One thing that I love about this movie is how sure Veronica is of what her choice is from the beginning, that this isn't a movie about hand wringing what decision to make. She knows what she wants. And that's very much how I felt um, about my abortion. The whole scene when she actually gets the abortion in, in the clinic, I was experiencing that whole couple days that we were filming that sequence through Veronica. So I was feeling all of the nerves and then the, um, you know, just like not knowing what to expect, finally being there, it's finally happening. The mixture of like the weight and then the relief. And um, I was just experiencing all those feelings through her um, and it just felt really real. I'm curious what kinds of conversations you had with Haley. Was that a closed set? Was it a really intimate experience? A couple of the vignettes were a closed set. We had a wonderful, um, uh, nurse who, who has, who is involved in, um, ER, uh, abortions that was with us the entire time. And so she was helping us just making sure that we were medically, um, you know, doing the right things and everything looked right. But, you know, I mean, we, we took it seriously and, and Haley, you know, Haley uh, is always bringing truth to her character. So she was bringing truth to the moment. I appreciate everything you've done for me. One of my favorite moments in the movie is during the carnival scene. And you and Haley Lou are on the ride and you're screaming, I'm gay and I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm curious if you in your life, Barbie, if you've ever had that kind of like an epiphany aha moment where you just let something go and started to like own it and celebrate it. Oh my God, all the time. Being a model and being a bigger girl, that was the first step for me. And then kind of navigating, um, uh, the media and having people really interested in me, even at a young age um, and kind of hypercritical, I kind of had to really empower myself by um, accepting who I am and also being pretty ab like abrupt about it and not really apologizing for it. And um, just kind of just doing what my gut tells me to do rather than what other people think I should do. I kind of have those cathartic moments. Like I'll go down to the beach sometimes and just like scream 
my deepest, darkest secrets or insecurities or wants from the universe or whatever. But honestly, I feel like I get a lot of my pent up energy or whatever out through characters that I play. Um, and then I think that like in turn makes me kind of more crazy as a human being because I feel so comfortable doing that kind of stuff as an actor that then in my life, I'm just equally as loud and crazy. Being able to physically like scream or being able to just like say out loud the things that you keep inside you, I feel like is a very important thing for people to do regularly. Yeah. <laughs>